So welcome to module two. Um, so excited to have you here. And we had already covered back basic background of data in module one. And towards the end of module one, I believe the last lesson we are started inching towards um, Stata itself. So there's a separate video for uh, the installation of Stata. You know, it assumes that you already have it. But I'm also aware that some people may just be using the software for the first time. So just check uh, in the YouTube channel for the link. The link also will be somewhere below this video where we would uh, direct you for installation. But I guess 90% of those who are watching this already have it installed. But if you don't have it installed, just look at the link below. Uh, we're going to install that for you. Uh, so we're looking at Stata itself now, introduction to Stata and assuming that you don't know. Now, some of you have already used Stata a lot of times and that's fine, but it's very important that you you just listen to these things. And I'm just that kind of a teacher too. When people are teaching something I think I know, I just pay attention and sometimes I receive some insight I never knew was there before. So who knows, you may just see something different. So please I also I mean, advise that we follow this video sequentially. If you are seeing module two for the first time, I would advise you go back to module one, understand basic concepts because we are moving from simple to complex and we will build on the logic uh, of the previous module. So please don't forget to do that. Now, without wasting much time, let's look at the lessons that we have in this module. And then it could even help you jump to the particular video of your of interest. So we're going through about seven to eight lessons and I'll explain why it's seven to eight, not having a fixed number, but basically the last lesson is basically uh, an intense practical where we try to tie all the concepts, like an exhaustive um, connection for all the concepts. So lesson one, we'll look at the basic concepts. Lesson two, we'll look at the Stata interface, uh, whether you are a uh, newcomer or not, you know, define them because we'll be referring to them from time to time. And then we'll look at the basic command to assist impute. The last lesson talked about, um, you remember the journey to credible, um, the, the journey to credible data starts with, you know, the impute section. And then we'll look at the, um, using the main windows. We're going to look at three main windows in lesson four. There are many windows in Stata, but the three main windows, you know, interfaces that you see. We would also, uh, look at using the um, the data editor, so main windows and data editor. And in lesson six, we would be asking ourselves, what do do files do? If you've heard about Stata for a while, you will hear them mentioning that term do files, and we need to understand it. And just in case you think you do, it will just be a refresher course for you. And then lesson seven, we'll talk about maximizing the entire courses. We have eight more modules to go. We are going up to 10. And there are certain principles we want to uh, emphasize there moving forward. And in lesson eight, we'll round it up with all these concepts we have learned in all the previous lessons, looking at the practicals. Uh, please, I don't want you to miss that too. So I hope this is very clear. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any uh, concern you have or thing you would like us to look into. We're happy to get your feedback. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel uh, share with your friends as many people who you think share with your students who have some difficulty understanding the dynamics of data uh, share with your colleagues at work at school anybody who you think will benefit from these videos i try to make it as simple as possible so i'll see you in lesson one thank you so much bye